Hey guys, what's going on? Danny AR10 here. And I wanted to shoot this quick video, and again, pardon for the audio if it's delayed. This YouTube, for some reason, when I record from my Mac to YouTube directly, it gives me a lag between my voice and the video. So just bear with me. This could be strictly visual, what I'm going to show you guys, and the audio, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit delayed. Uh, this is going to be about a new software for the iPhone and iPad and iPod Touch. This is basically a new jailbreak software that came out yesterday. Uh, you can get it at... Uh, spiritjb.com that's spirit s p i r i t j b.com you can download the mac version or the windows version it's a, the most simplest that's not even proper english the, the best way to jailbreak your iphone and ipad it's the easiest way having to go through so much trouble downloading software downloading uh ssh files and all that stuff it basically gives you the most straightforward way to do it. It's plug in, hit the jailbreak button, 10 seconds later your device reboots and you're ready to go. Cydia gets installed and you're ready to start uh, customizing your iPhone. So what I did was I wasn't planning on getting uh, or jailbreaking my iPad, but when I saw how easy it was to do and the features that you get by doing so, I just had to do it. Uh, so I just finished doing it early this afternoon, been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys some of the key components. One cool thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to do because of, of this new uh, jailbreak software. I have been loving my uh, Nexus One, but I will be going from uh, my Nexus One back to my 3GS. The guy who I sold it to is actually gonna do a trade back with me. Uh, he because he wants a Nexus One to sell. He does eBay selling, so he's gonna do a straight up trade for my th uh, for a 32 gigabyte uh, 3GS back for my Nexus One. And that's because I can now download uh, MyY, which is a software that allows me to do a wireless tether to my iPad, which was what I was using my Nexus One for. Love the Nexus One, great software. I just have so much money invested in my iPhone apps and the new iPhone coming out soon. Might as well get back into the habit of using the iPhone. So, uh, so I'm going to show you guys what the iPad now works, so the functions that you can get out of uh, jailbreaking your iPad. Very simple, like I said. Do a full uh, backup, I recommend, before you do the the jailbreak, even though I haven't had any problems, uh, you do keep all your uh, icons in the same place they were and all your apps. You don't have to do any restoring or anything like that. So here it is. Let me see if I can hold it upright for you guys. The Cydia app, which is basically the, the hacked app store, is right here. By opening it up, what it does is it takes you to it's been getting hammered all day, so it might be down, or it might not be. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks like it's down right now, but you could still search. Uh, basically, this is what you use to find themes, uh, apps, tools that you can access your uh, iPad files remotely, customize your springboard, customize the icons, customize everything you can think of. Uh, what I've done so far is I've downloaded a, an app called Backgrounder. It allows me to use multitasking and background applications. And I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. So basically, this is my third page is where I use uh, my apps that I've downloaded from Cydia. iFile is basically lets me uh, browse the directory of my iPad, which I'll get into that later why I can do that and why it's good to have that. And Backgrounder right there. And respring lets you reset your springboard if you made any changes to it to kind of refresh and give you the new look. I haven't made any cosmetic changes to it yet because it's still fresh to the Cydia. Uh, so there's not many themes out for the iPad. So background there, I've already set it up and I'll show you how it works. Let's say you're using Pan you want to use Pandora. You open up Pandora real quick. Pick uh I don't know, let's see. Uh, I don't know, see Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson song. Let it load up. I'm gonna play it so you guys can hear it in the background. Okay, the song's playing. What you do is you hold the home button for two seconds. Pops up a notification telling you uh, background process or running in the background is what what it says when you when you press it. If you look closely, the Pandora icon. Let me lower the volume a little bit. The Pandora icon has a little tab next to it. It has a little badge on it, basically saying that it's running in the background. From here, I can go do whatever I want. I can go to Safari.
I can, if I want, I can close out Safari. I can go to a game, Harbor Master. Music still playing. It's actually still paused because I was on there earlier playing the game. I can actually unpause it, let it run, enable it background again. Gives me a tab right there on Harbor Master. Music still playing. I can go to. Let's try to. I can go to Twitter. Open up Twitter. Try to stay here from my camera, guys. Just bear with me. Music still playing in the background. There's Twitter up and running. Music still playing. Twitter's just loaded up. And I'll show you guys Twitter. Background enabled. Twitter now has the icon as well. If I want to jump back into Twitter, it won't reload the pages because it'll it'll never go away from where it was. So the pages will stay loaded. If you want to go back out, you hit the button again. If you want to disable that background application, what you do is you hold down the hold button until that notification pops up again. It'll say background disabled and it's now gone. Pandora, same thing. Pandora, hold it. Background disabled, goes away. You can do the same. You can even open up YouTube videos, let them load in the background with, you, with the YouTube app, and then come back to it when it's finishing loading, and take off from there. Excellent, excellent feature that the iPad should have had from the beginning. It will have it eventually when the 4.0 comes off for iPad in the fall. I don't want to wait till fall, so I have that feature already and don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, Aside from that, I haven't really done much else to, to it itself. Uh, oh, one big notice, one big thing is about that IELTS, that iFile software, it lets you customize the directory of apps. People have found out that you can just customize the I, what was it, the, um, it's a file that starts with the letter I, basically by adding a certain command to the file itself and editing it, which you could do from within the application itself. You can turn iPhone apps native to the iPhone iPad resolution. So, for example, here is my Facebook app, which is basically for uh, iPhone. Open it up, and it's at iP and it's at iPhone or iPad resolution, full screen. You guys can see that. It takes up the whole screen. Full resolution like it was intended to be from the beginning. This is why I'm a little upset that developers are charging so much money for an upscaled version of their software where it's just as easy as changing a, a command. It's not, it doesn't it take too much to get it to run that way. Uh, another software you can do that I downloaded is uh, the remote app for yeah for, that Apple has. Full native resolution. I also had BeeJive. I removed it for now, but BeeJive works the same way. IGN, the IGN app, also full resolution, and I think that's about it. That's about it to the limit. I've played with it right now, guys. So definitely worth picking up, especially now when they're gonna start pumping out new software and new themes for the iPad. Definitely recommend jailbreaking it. Step, it's a quick 10 seconds it takes to jailbreak it. Head over to SpiritJB.com, download it for Mac or Windows, jailbreak your iPad, and enjoy, guys. That's all I have for you guys. I'll probably be doing a jailbreak video of my iPhone 3GS when I get it later tonight. So thanks again, guys.